so. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> I, think, I think we're good. Are we good? So, as you can see, we're wearing the Citroen today. I am going to be riding 10 Theo and Olaf. It is 10 25 and I have to clean their stalls. I have to, what else do I have to do? Um, clean out their water buckets. Else. I have to do a bunch of stuff. I am filming with a different camera today. I am using my Sony A5100 something or other. And the reason why I wanted to use this instead of my iPhone is because I have a like little um, a little mount for it. And what I can do is flip the thing up so I can like see myself like a, it's like a selfie camera I suppose but the nice thing about it is like when I'm like compared to my iPhone is when I want to see like what's in frame with my iPhone but I want the highest clarity I have to be like I can't see the screen I have to have the lens facing me so Hopefully this will up the quality a little bit. It'll take a little bit more time as far as like importing and stuff, but that's, that's, the, that's the pain for the beauty, you know? Hi, buddy.
Ugh, gross. Their buckets are. That's why I clean out their buckets. I got you. You got me. We are two. Too lucky. Emily, your name spells home. Since the day you were born, you have always known when I need you the most. Oh ho, oh ho. My best friend sent my own good fortune. You know you are my double flame whisper, my soulmate sister. You know you are. Just as happy Remember when you were five Every day by my side Oh ho Oh ho My best friend got sent My own good fortune You know you are So this is 10 and we are going to start off with just no contact at all, just riding on the buckle. I like to get him to try to stretch down, to stretch out his back and warm up before we jump. I am obviously on the buckle as you can see, but I am focusing on getting him forward. The key to developing a good stretch is forward movement from behind, which is not easy for him. He is a pretty lazy horse and he has a pretty long back. So getting his hind, em, hind end up underneath him is a little bit difficult, but he does a pretty good job. So I probably spend about five to 10 minutes doing this. I do a couple laps at a, at a trot and then a couple laps at a scanner and then also add some circles in there. So now I'm going to start asking him to go in more of a collected frame. I'm asking him to round up and I am starting to work on doing some bending. He does tend to curl behind the bridle to evade the bit. And this is the first time I've actually ridden him in the German Martingale and I thought it might be a good idea or a good trial run for him because he does like to cock his head to the side and when we are jumping higher fences he likes to kind of barrel up towards him hollow out his back and cock his head to the side so I thought this may be a, a good option for him just to try out and he actually did really really good if you have been following me or know anything about 10 he's pretty expressive 
So I was kind of nervous to ride him in this, just debating on whether or not he was going to hate it. But he actually seemed to like it. It almost was like side reins for him, where he could kind of put his head where he wanted to and kind of figure out where where he wanted to be and he just felt really relaxed so when i've been jumping him i have been focusing on trying to not let him take the long spots when we don't get an accurate distance whenever he ends up taking those really really long spots he always ends up landing really really hard and then trying to take off afterwards and crow hop so i'd much prefer chipping into the fence instead of taking those really really long spots and i threw the whip down there because he felt like he was getting a little bit too forward so i dropped that and as you can see i was kind of holding him back here a little bit made him add an extra stride there and he jumped that pretty nice Landed on the wrong lead, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about the leads at the moment. He's He gets a little anxious with lead changes, so if he doesn't land on it, I don't force it. So I'm just waiting, waiting. He jumped that really nice. And then didn't get the lead. That one, we got in really, really deep, so he over-accentuated his, his back end. And that one was okay. And then this I put up to three foot. I love how expressive his back end is now. He really, really tries hard. Gave me a good lead change there. And that was nice. There. I like that. I like that fence. Again, I'd much rather chip into it than take a super long spot. So this diagonal line is either a really long three or a short four. So if you come in too crazy into the first fence, you'll end up doing a three. But if you come in at a long distance, then you can get four in there. So once we're done jumping, then I just end with nice stretchy trot around a couple laps just to loosen his back back up. And then that's pretty much it. Our entire ride with warm up and jumping was, I think, maybe 25 minutes. I really don't ride for longer than 30 minutes. I, I don't think that they need more than that. So he did really good. I'm really happy with how he did. All right, so this is Theo. And he was a little bit of a mess today, that day. He was pretty anxious. It, the weather had dropped quite a bit, which normally doesn't really bother him. But I think he saw the jumps being up high because I had planned on taking him over some higher fences. The June show that I'm taking 10 to, I'm also taking him. And we are going to do 2-6. So some of these are three foot, the rest of them I believe are two six or two nine. And I just wanted to take him over a course just to see where he was at and where we needed to work on. And he ended up doing really good. But same thing, I try to start off on a loose rein on the buckle with just a stretchy trot. He has a lot tighter of a back than 10 does because we have not been working on this as long. I have had 10 for over two years and I have only had Theo since January. So it is a work in progress, but he's doing really, really well. So I just, he takes a while to warm up. So I did lunch him prior to this just to, for about five minutes or so just to get him warmed up. But obviously under saddle is a different story.
So I've kind of picked up the reins, asking for a little bit more contact working on the canner. I believe I, yep, asked for a lead change here. So I do a lead change one direction and a lead change the other direction. And I try to do about one to two laps one direction with a circle and one to two laps the other direction with a circle. And when I change directions, I ask with a lead change. So I'm doing a circle here. And while I'm doing this, I am lifting my inside rein and supporting with my outside rein and my inside leg. I am working on getting him bent. He is a little stiff in the neck as well, so bending is a little bit harder for him. He tends to throw his head in instead of wrapping around my leg, and so it's just a little bit, it takes a little bit longer for him to get warmed up. And I believe here we go over this first fence and he doesn't quite <laughs> pick his front feet up enough so he knocks it. And he always gets really nervous when he knocks rails. He gets a little bit anxious. So this was the first higher fence that we had jumped in a really long time. And he jumped that really, really nicely. He does carry his head quite high when we're jumping higher. and. He's just gotten very, very forward. So we've been working on doing jump circles, trying to get him to look down at the fence instead of lifting his head up. And that's also why I have the um, the sheepskin on his on his bridle and his noseband. Jumped that really nicely. Just coming around, and he was very forward this day, very heavy. Jumped that nice, and he launched himself over that. It. His jump can be <laughs> quite powerful. And I don't know if you could see, but all of the horses in the pasture that were turned out, this was like right before feeding time. Nope, another cat <laughs> running around. But they're all galloping around in the pasture out there. It just goes to show how good of a horse he is with all that going on. He's such a sweet guy. So we're going to go over this raised cross rail the other direction. Jump that okay. He has really good lead changes. He doesn't actually have a flying lead change. He just does the front to back, but we're only doing jumpers, so it doesn't bother me. We got in a little deep to that, and then in turn got in a little deep there, but he can be very anxious if the distances aren't right, so I was really proud of him for getting out of that really nicely. Jump that really nice. And then just trying to balance him up a little bit in the corner here. So I'm coming around to this fence again. It was on the 10th hole, I think. So it was 3 foot or 3-3, three, three, whatever the holes are there. I have no idea, to be honest. I know it was at least 3 foot. And then I saw the distance here so I pushed him to it and I have to be very careful when I pump him to fences because he can get very fast and then he gets anxious and then it just turns into this where we're all out of control <laughs> so that was my fault pushing him to that one fence and trying to get him back can be a little bit difficult so that's kind of what I was trying to work on a little bit and I try really hard to stay out of his way, but he is still green, so his judgment to the fences sometimes is not right. So sometimes I do have to micromanage, but if I micromanage too much, then he gets anxious. So it's a, it's a very slippery slope with him sometimes. He never does anything bad, but he just can get, he can get pretty anxious. That was a really nice fence. He jumped that beautifully, jumped that line beautifully. And I think this is, yeah, he did so. Jumping him is just like, there's no other thing like it. He's so amazing. That was nice. And I think this is the last, this may be the last time we do this fence. Oh, his jump is just so flighty. I love it. I love it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> and he's like, wait, we're going over that one again? I'm like, no, we're stopping. We're done. You're done. You're done. 
so I'm trying hard not to, I'm trying to use my body, but he's so good. He's just so good, and he did really good, so I hopped off and gave him some rubs, and that was the end of the ride with him. what I have going. So this is Theo's bridle and I just have him in a um, just regular single joint snaffle with the copper rollers. It's a D-ring and this bridle is the new shock mole one I got from Barrington Saddle for half off. This is just an extra bridle. I'm not sure what bit this is. It's just a French link with a lozenge, a loose ring, and this is just an HDR bridle. This is Ten's dressage bridle. It's a piece of Sweden, and he is in the Myler MB33, so it's a wide port. This is my CWD figure eight bridle, and I've got just a, um, a, uh, oh, I think I have that fit on backwards. <laughs> Do I? No. No, I don't have it on backwards. It's a Myler level one. And then I think I actually, no, I'll just write a lot from the other one. This is also a PS of Sweden, and then I've just got a Boucher um, French link. And this is another Nunfinner dressage bridle, and I have a Myler with a copper roller on it. And that's it for the bridles. The one I'm using on 10 and Theo right now is a HDR one. I do need to finish editing the video for this. I will say I'm going to end up selling it because it's just not, I don't know. Here, let me make this. contact saddle and while I liked it and I thought it was like good and I enjoyed riding in it I just don't see myself using it hardly ever so I'm just a, I, I wouldn't use this in a competition ring and while we're training and doing all that stuff at home I just I wouldn't I wouldn't be riding in it, it I think it's great I really enjoy it but as far as like show jumping goes which is what I'm doing and dressage this is just not gonna be what I would practice in or not a, not what I would show in which means I wouldn't really practice in it so I'm gonna post this up for sale it's really awesome I really 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 do like it I just out of not gonna be using it that's why I'm putting it up for sale so okay I'm gonna see if Kenzie wants to try these or if Deanna wants to try these. Look, I'm a real vlog. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do either of you guys want to try these? Ooh, yes. 
I don't know if they're still up there. It's been a bit since I got them, but they may still be. No, I, well, the tech tech's still online, though. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And they're wow, blue. Wow, that's a great I'm going to try these ones again first today. Let's we'll see. I may have to try those too. I'm kind of. We're trying them. <laughs> I'm uh, trying to figure funny, out. I I'm know, zooming. I don't know what they're like in relationship to the ones I'm trying. They're more like these, right? The ones I ordered? Mm -hmm. Not like those. Those are fancy. Yeah, these keep your foot in the stirrup. She's like, I don't care. I'm not worried about her. I'm, I'm a real YouTuber. Look, I have a camera with a, a oh. thing that I'm holding. I'm a real YouTuber. <laughs> She's so proud of herself right now. Look. Are we in this? Do we yeah. need to sign a release? Do, oh, we have to sign a release? Really? Are you, are you going to get pictures of her new outfit? I have my camera. You think it's ugly and you, I think it's awesome. I think it's moth. And like, well, you can't see These are just so gaudy. I like it. They're huge. I can't believe you think something's gaudy. Because, I mean, you're like flashy. I figured you would like that. Or are you afraid it's going <laughs> to conflict with what else you've got going on? Is that it? Well, yeah, because I've got gold stirrups. I like I like the emblem. I would not be upset if it were smaller. Yeah. Let's put it that way. It's I big. I like that it's a horseshoe, but if it it's were big. smaller, that would be nice. It's really big. Exciting. Yeah, clearly. Is it that way or is it the other way? Um, the thicker side? This one. Is... Yeah, that's... I know those are like the knockoff. Uh, Millbrook leathers. I think they're Ovation or HDR ones, one of the two. But uh, I tried them. I actually just bought that setup for uh, that crash strap, but I'm selling it. So <laughs> I don't need it.
So this is Olaf. We had a pretty short lesson. I mean, all in all, I think we rode maybe for 10 minutes total. And we didn't really do much jumping. The only thing we did was she, you'll see at the end of this, she put a like half cross rail up and we worked on circling. So this is really, really good for balance and for helping bending and getting them supple. And Olaf can be a little bit, a little bit tight. He can also be a little bit anxious. I would say out of the horses I have, Olaf probably has the tightest back. So he needs a lot of time to warm up. He does need his hocks done. And I think today, what is Monday? The 11th he is getting them done either tomorrow or Wednesday so you can kind of see how he short steps and stuff but he should be feeling very good after that so we do a lot of halting and backing up and going right into the trot and this is really really good to get them off their forehand and to get them moving from behind And I'm gonna halt here again. Just really trying to use my body, just very subtle. He's very sensitive, so you don't need much with your aids with him, unlike 10, where you have to basically scream at him <laughs> to get him to do anything. And Theo's kind of right in the middle. So now we are going to work on cantering. So what she wants is she wanted us to trot over this, land on the right lead. However, he did not land on the right lead there. So what I need to do is put my weight in my outside heel and lift my inside rein, which he is still pretty green. He has some cool buttons, but this is all pretty new to him. So he's, he's really, really good. He's very willing to. So he didn't land it, but he has really, really nice lead changes. He can do flying lead changes, but I don't really care, to be honest, <laughs> whether it's a flying or just a regular lead change. And he tends to swap his back end a lot, and that's just because he does need his hocks done. But working on these canter circles are really, really good for keeping the pace and the tempo the same. So we didn't land on there the correct lead there. So I just asked him to trot, trot it over the pole, and then I come back around and I think he lands on it this time. This is my harder side as far as lifting my inside rein. So when I'm doing rollbacks going to the left, instead of my hand coming up, my hand goes down and out. So this is my weaker side as far as that goes. And he does not need, I pumped him there a little bit, so he got pretty fast. My trainer yelled at me. <laughs> He's not like 10 where he needs to be pushed. I've been working on just sitting and being quiet, not looking down. I tend to look at the leads a lot, as you can see in a lot of my videos, <laughs> but it's a work in progress. It's hard riding a lot of green horses. You pick up you pick up some bad habits, but I think definitely gotten better. I just would love to get the looking down part out of it. So I think this is our last one. And then 
he ended really nicely on that, and that was that was it for him. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. <laughs> oh my gosh. She has great sound effects. She Does really she? does. Try it. She looks. Rough. She just looks so cute though when she's like. Relax. And I know. She's, her ponytail like as bounces tight as a board. and she's nice. Good. Try it. <laughs> Good job. I don't care about the leaves right now. She's doing it. Yep. Oh, there he goes, Mr. Fancy Pants. She's just, All right, Kelly. She's just beep bopping around. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> She's boing, boing, boing. Our parents were friends. His dad's deceased now. But, and then I lived with his sister in college. So I just noticed that, he, that was like a mutual friend. You're not looking. Yep. You're looking like late. So. Oh, no. All right, do that all over again and just keep your eyes up. I I are you buying this? Home, I don't Not today. See Which one are you wanting? Well, I, like I, like I like this one. Yeah. Keep your like eyes forward. You're not. Live there. They have a farm. You're making a mountain out there. of a molehill. So, Get up tall so and let him do his job. Family, like, I, my farm's on this side. So I'm like about as far in here as You want all this? No, not today. Oh, not today. <laughs> I'm already getting yelled at. Oh, yeah, she's already getting yelled at. Whatever. Whatever. Look, she gets yelled at all the time. It's pretty. <laughs> How much is that? This is like three fifty. You want me to pay for less than today? You want me to wait or what? I mean, I mean, it's only thirty dollars. No, I. Yeah, our I'll just pay this in pieces. Yeah, do that. I don't care. I'll pay this in pieces because it's just gonna sit there. Well, but get some carnage. Uh, all you gotta, gotta do is just dip it. They're so pretty. You can get it at home. Yeah. This is the bridle I've been using on Ten and Olaf, um, the par portion of the German Martingale, my dressage breastplate, Theo's breastplate, a standing Martingale, and a bib from CWD, and then I got my jump saddle, dressage saddle, and I need to clean all that out, and up on top of here, I've just got my cross country vest and some random stuff. sweat marks dry and then I brush them off.
you want it? Are you ready? Are you ready for your alpha alpha? Alright, back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, it's all sassy. Oh, it's all cranky. Hey. Thank you. You know better. Crazy. Huh? You want those syrups back? No. I'm not even using them. Huh? I'm not even using them. I'm like, I don't even know. And 75 bucks? Yeah, it was Yeah, sounds good. All right, here you go. Here you go, chunky, chunky. Yeah, I know. Yummy. Yummy. Olaf, yours needs to soak a little more. Are you hungry or something? Yeah? Do you want some? <laughs> Alright. So, that's kind of what Olaf looks like. He needs a little bit of top line, but he looks really good for not being in work. There's the king. And the prince. Hi, Tintin. Hi, Hi Bibi. You're so handsome. Oh, did you camp? <laughs> did you think for a minute you needed to be cranky? Did you think you needed to be cranky? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're so handsome. And here's a crank pot. Cranky. Oh, so cranky. Building lots of muscle. He's looking good. All right. It's time for me to go home. I'm tired. I'm take off my boots.